The Amityville house became a gruesome crime scene when Ronald DeFeo Jr. brutally murdered six family members. DeFeo's haunting testimony mentioned voices, an unseen force compelling him towards the massacre, laying the first stones of the house's haunted reputation. Just a year later the Lutz family, George Cathy and their three children stepped into this history, fully aware yet unprepared for what lay ahead. Their dream home quickly turned into a nightmare, with reports of inexplicable cold spots, foul odors, and even Cathy's terrifying levitation incidents. Their ordeal, lasting a mere 28 days, ended in a desperate escape from the clutches of what they believed to be a malevolent presence. But the tale of terror doesn't go unchallenged, skeptics question the veracity of the Lutz's claims, citing a lack of physical evidence and suggesting possible financial motives. The subsequent owner's peaceful tenure in the house adds fuel to the fire of skepticism, casting long shadows of doubt over the Lutz family's narrative. The plot thickens with the entrance of Ed and Lorraine Warren, the renowned paranormal investigators who were drawn to the Amityville house's eerie reputation. Lorraine Warren, known for her psychic abilities, described an oppressive sense of dread upon entering, a psychic assault by an unseen adversary. Their investigation purportedly unveiled chilling evidence including a photograph capturing what appeared to be the ghostly image of a young boy, adding a new layer of intrigue to the Amityville enigma. The Amityville horror transcends its origins, morphing into a cultural phenomenon through books, films and documentaries, each iteration exploring the interplay of fact and fiction, reality and myth. The house, a silent sentinel, has witnessed owners come and go, with many dismissing the tales of hauntings as nothing more than fanciful fiction. The house still stands today, and many believe that the Lutz family story was actually made up while sitting with their defense attorney William Weber, and all of the stories and movies are based on a conversation made up while drinking a few bottles of wine.